Hey YouTube, how are we all doing? Lego Leprechaun here again guys I'm um, with a small little bit of progress on the city um, The impound area here for the police cars and fire brigades And a small little bit of progress on the road uh, leading into it So before we get started guys I want to thank everybody as always For subscriptions, likes, thumbs ups, comments and suggestions Again guys well blown away um, by your your appreciation really for what I do, you know, and uh, such a gratification for it. So, um, without further ado, let's get going, guys. So, right, the last time we had done here, um, we had tiles in, in the corner, and I was kind of, I suppose, indecisive about the yellow strip that was going to run for it to be centre with the columns behind. I had it above the tile level on jumper plates just to get that centrepiece, and... I knew it just wasn't sitting with me. I know there could be little bits of ramps that the car wheels don't go over and stuff like that. But you normally wouldn't see that in a car park, you know. So I just kind of dug it up again. And what I done is, as you can see there, I just placed them on the left of the columns coming down um, behind. So they're still seven studs apart and they're all in level with the um, 2x2 two two dark blue grey tile. Which to me just stands out a little bit, a little bit better. Um, there is nothing I suppose major about this guys it's just putting one tile down next to the other um, maybe down the line I might put I didn't have a lot of variations and pieces regarding these dark grey bluish tiles just the normal 2 by 2s but I wouldn't mind putting a few cracks and stuff in there but I can get to that um, we'd say later on down I just wanted to kind of later on down the line I just wanted to try and get a kind of um, a picture um, of what's going to be going in there. Now it's by all means no one you're finished um, we've still got to get around the corner here with this and um, I got to put some kind of a maybe black and yellow barrier there with a small hut on the side of it and some kind of you know kind of cagey look wired fencing going around it so we'll uh, we'll work on that and in that little area here like that you can see the wood we'll have a small bit of rock work probably coming down there from eventually where that will be, will be leading to um, a kind of a rock on that corner anyway that bit of hill so coming back then guys we have a little bit of a mills plate road here and i put some cracks and holes in it as you can see because i wanted to make it a bit more worn down it's not normal traffic goes in there it's kind of we'd say fire brigades in and out and police cars kind of fast you know so i just wanted to give that more of a worn down look now i will be doing that on my normal mills place roads guys eventually just showing a bit of wear and tear in the roads because it gives it a bit more of a real look as you can see with this one, it's not as wide um, it is probably about maybe four or five, six bricks um, less in width uh, to the normal mills plate road. But I wanted that. I just wanted a kind of a lane going in here to show that it's kind of more specific to the corner of the fire brigade and the police um, as opposed to not being the main road. The garage, of course, you can pull in and get your petrol, but you literally come out here and go around and back out into the main city. And we just have it enough where you can get up on the curb here um, I must tie that down actually. We must get up on the curb here and just go in here to the garage itself if something has to be worked on. So guys, so that's the kind of progress in that. I did put um, a small hill on it. It's up with kind of two studs. And so is the fire brigade itself. I kind of put that up on two bricks high as opposed to this side. Excuse me. And the reason for it, guys, is because, again, where the crap heap was, hooray, <laughs> I kind of clean most of it. Um, the reason for that is because there's some kind of water coming here as i said i'm not sure whether we're going to be here or we're going to be here where it's falling from i'm going to attack that today and see what i can kind of play with but it will be kind of again like that running central and as i said it'll just go right down through the city itself down through the square and come out here in the square as you can see and then we're going to head down towards arkham and eventually off the side of the table when we come to that project so that's the update here guys on the corner um I just uh, want to mention as well, guys, I got a call off one of the um, the larger Irish newspapers um, for Ireland called the Irish Examiner, and they did a piece on me there on Friday and put up some pictures and stuff. So the reason for the place being so clean is because there was a, um, a photographer came out to take pictures of here, and it is on my Instagram, I put a post up on it yesterday. So, uh, yeah, so I, <laughs> I had to get the place in the best shape, like, so there was some serious rush around on um, on Friday morning early and Thursday, Thursday night late trying to clean up the place. You know yourself with Lego, like, 
when you start you're pulling bits from everything you can possibly think of and the place ends up just as I said I always call it the crap heap and especially with this corner it's not so bad now because I'm working on new projects it's cleaned up so yeah I got a bit of a, a bit of a, a shout out um, on what I build here regarding the back cave if you want to check it out guys a small little article up it's um, the Irish Examiner and you'll catch that online um, so yeah and thanks again for people that have commented it on my videos that never knew I was there and read the paper and saw me there thanks to the Irish Examiner for doing that as well just a shout out to them as well so yeah guys the second half of this video now I want to talk how I do a sloping road and I know that I had a few comments on about uh, the road here in my city with the buildings on each side and how did I bend it you just get these comments coming up saying how 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 you know so what I did guys is I put a small bit of Lego here together in strips all right I'm just going to explain so this is going to be anyways you can see here we have a road coming across here we have our left turn which is here and these two strips I'm going to put together now and I'll show you how quickly Um, how they're going to bend up here and then they're just going to come down into a tunnel here now when I say put them together I can't literally hold the camera and put them together but you're going to the thickness of we'd say the mills plate road itself all right and I'll just talk you through this. We have one, two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven um, standard bricks before we hit a white line. And then we have the same on this side. Okay. Now that's then broken down here. All right, as you can see, we have seven bricks wide. And basically, guys, as I said before, this is a wall. You're literally building a long wall. Okay. Now with the mills plate, we kind of cut them at your 32 studs. In this case, because I want to bend them like a natural hill, they're just continuously endless. And I can join them up under here with something when I want, when I have the time, when I have more Lego for that as well. But what I wanted to show today is how the bend works really, you know. Putting one brick on top of the other, anyone can do. So this is easy guys to do. It's not as hard as what anyone makes it out to be, it really isn't. It's just a bit of playing around and a bit of trial and error. So what I used here, just getting on the strips. I literally used our um, one by 4 okay. You can use any size one. Okay, um, for the mills plates, I found the one by eight were great because the mills plate would be wrapped up fairly fast, and the road is built fairly fast because obviously there's more brick. But when you're doing the hill, I wanted a bit of flexibility, a bit of bend. So the straighter section of the hill, and I'll show you this in a second, I would do with the one by four. Okay, where I'm going to bend it at the top of the hill and at the start of the hill is where I'll use the one by two. Okay, and then these modified little bricks here. All right, with a bit of graze on them, I just put in here and there just to show a bit of wear and tear in the road. Um, I know now you can put in several different uh, types of bricks and grains to show it, but I didn't want to, uh, I suppose, show too much of a rough effect on this hill. I will, we'd say, in some of the mills plate roads that can be standard built, but with this I didn't want to have holes all over because there's not much underneath it. The supports will be there, but I didn't want to be looking down through it because it wouldn't be real to see that in a real road. So. Um, I just use a normal kind of a skidded look on um on those uh, on this road with those blocks. So two by twos, okay, and the one by fours. The one by fours I literally put in, bar a few two by twos now with the grazing, huh? but basically I put uh, one by fours for the longer stretches. When we came here to the centre, guys, all right, I used the one by twos, okay, and then we ran into the one by fours again here for the longer stretch of the hill, and then at the start of it we came into the one by twos, okay. So, um, stay with me for a second. Literally, if I catch this, okay, it'll kind of fall naturally, as you can see, each side. Okay, it falls naturally. And that's because I have the one by twos in between. Now, if I did all one by fours, that wouldn't bend so easily, unless it was extremely long, and this isn't. I've only got a short bit of um, space to work with this. I wanted to come as high as I can with this, and in order to do so, I had to have smaller pieces in the middle, and the one by two is the smallest you can use, because... They won't join otherwise <laughs> one by one <laughs> so basically we're going to have this kind of over here the two strips they'll come together they're there where you see here the one by twos themselves that's because i'll be pushing in at the bottom like that sorry be pushing in at the bottom like this and um, where it's flat down but the bend as you can see here is enough to actually come up okay and i can push down it like that where it just joins into the studs to meet up with my mills place running that way and the tee off there to the garage and the fire brigade that fire station that way okay and then we have a little bit of height in the middle as you can see and then it's going to go straight down there now i need a bend down there as well but i just ran out of the one by twos i don't have much left but i can work on that at a later date so getting back to it we've got the actual seven bricks on both 
alright? Our white lines go in the middle guys, and they're the same as the mill splits here, you just have the white lines, so you have four dots flat. Um, so you got one by four flat um, every second one. And then you have your greys here. Now, the only thing is to centre the white line, it had to go in between. You say, if you can see it here, a flat on this side, okay, and then another flat on this side. So again, it's not that hard to do, guys. You're just literally doing a whole row of uh, one by four, or if you have longer flats, do. But again, like this, sorry, I actually go back here a bit. This particular area, I'll have to do one by twos because I'd be bending it. One by fours up along the strip where you have the one by four brick itself. When you come to the middle, I'll be using the one by twos again. So again, as I said, we have that bend that's going to be there with the white lines in the middle. The exact same thing, once the first grey um, layer is put down, we come in them with every second one. Um, white lines but you make them out of uh, one by twos in the middle so you can still bend it and of course guys in between the actual whites we've got more greys and then on top of that I'll just go back to the middle plate to kind of show you we have the, the bottom grey one we've got the white one there and then we've got another grey layer and then you join the two of them together and the same goes then here on the outside lads we have a continuous white which is running along I'll do that up here and outside that continuous white I have one more brick, one more brick thickness, okay, that goes here, and it'll be the exact same on the bottom. Now to connect, all right, you literally use on the side that you've the, the, the hollow here, okay, is where you use your modified brick, all right, and you literally pin it down like I have here to this curb, and it's the same with the middle splits you've seen there, they literally go in, okay, and they pin in. On the opposite side, the one with the dot, the actual back of the headlights that you get in most of the police cars or cars in the city or whatever, you can use that. Or you can use this Technic piece that has the two hollows will stick straight in there as well, guys. All right. So that's how I pin them down. But in this particular case, because it's a bending hill, they'll only be pinned a small bit at the bottom here. The rest is left go up by itself naturally and fall down. And wherever kind of lands in there, I can try and put a pin, I can try and put a pin somewhere, I will put a pin, excuse me, somewhere down here on the board to, to actually keep it in place. And that way then you can, it's up to yourself for how high you want to go with this. Um, you can literally play around with whatever height brick you want underneath it. And the reason for that bend, as I said guys, is a water feature coming out here and along that way. Now I hope that wasn't too rushed for you, I'm trying to hold the camera and show you, I'd, I'd be better off if I had the camera on a tripod and I'll show you how to bend it and stuff like that. Um, with two hands it will be easier but if you can kind of get the picture it's the exact same here guy, guys with the made one that's your uh, one by twos look all right and i have that just enough there so i can clip it in there's probably about what, one two three four five six seven eight one by twos this side and there's enough then to bend and when i had done it that long to the top i just literally put my hand underneath it and let it fall and where it fell down i had pinned it here lifted it up and where it kind of naturally went up in my hand towards the top is where I just put a little bit of a stabilisation in underneath it then to hold it and there's a small bit of forcing at the top just to pin it down because it just it was springing up a small bit so I had to force it down and then pin it to the pads. Now don't get me wrong this it's not um it's not very difficult it's not rocket science by any means but there's just a little bit of figuring out with it but if you stick with it you get it. I'm giving this tutorial on these guys because I didn't find one around YouTube and I had to try and discover it myself from one or two, two uh, cities that I saw with the roads in them, you know. There's loads of tutorials on mills plates and I didn't want to do them because there's, there's loads of tutorials there and there's some great, great tutorials on them from some of the guys out there. But with the bending road, I think it just gives that, I suppose, realistic look to your city, doesn't it? You know, so I just love playing with that idea. So at present we have a mild bend on this road. We have our main slope here, um, which is probably the most popular one that will stand out with the buildings on each side. And as we move on, move on down further, then we have our crime alley. But that's quite hard to see as a bending road. It's a mild bend, but it's full of activity and everything that you can possibly see on the street going on. So it's hard to actually capture a shot to show the slant in that or even the video. It's mainly from the side, you might see a little bit of it as it kind of works up there. But that's kind of where I want to go and um, with my city. I want to give it that kind of a 3D effect where you're looking in and up, you know, and there's different levels. And I definitely think that the slope um, in the roads um, adds, adds that effect that I was looking for, you know. 
so yeah guys so again <laughs> i would talk the arse off a pot so uh, <laughs> there's just hopefully enough information on this guys again um any questions just ask away in the comments anyway lads i love sharing what i have with you and I want to show you these things because if you're ever doing them in your own cities, you can just go back to the video and look at it. But if there's anything that you see in the city that you'd maybe like um, an explanation for, I want to do kind of more of these tutorials. It's a bit rough now, lads, holding the camera and pulling Lego up and down like this probably wouldn't be the way I would like to do it, um, to be honest. But look, I could be waiting all year to say I'll get the perfect video on. I just don't. So it's rough, but it's there anyway, you know. So any questions, guys, ask away. And again, till the next update, we'll actually have this done, um, hopefully, with a bit more of what's going on in here, hopefully in the next few days, and we'll fill you in again on the progress. So, again guys, thanks a million for everything, and if you like, make sure you give a thumbs up, and if you haven't seen me before, uh, you might subscribe too. So thanks again, Lego Leprechaun out.